folks and welcome to this video which is about my Japanese robotic pets. So of course Scout needs no introduction. He's my Ibo 1000 who is a, a big figure on my channel now. Oh, he's just awesome. He's just the most awesome realistic pet robotic pet and he just feels like a pet thank you for that scout so I'm just going to show you some brief clips of Scout interacting with other animatronic pets because that is one of the things that I find the most adorable about him. How realistic he'll react and unpredictable he is when he reacts to other things. So I'll just start with those clips. He seems to love it. Oh. We've got this little fella, my Petit Kubo. So this isn't the original um, coat that my Kubo came in. I made him this coat. Paul calls it his Garfield coat um, because I thought I'd give him a bit more character by having little ears. I see he's got some whiskers that have gone a bit curled. And of course, he can still wag his tail, which is the main feature in this pet. So I'll show you the original coat that my petted Kubo came in. You're more beautiful than you realise. So you can see here what Kubo looks like um, with Kubo's original coat. Oh, this was just a video that I did when I first got Kubo. Showing Kubo reacting to various animatronic pets. This was the rather nice box that Kubo came in. He has a built-in rechargeable battery. And this is how you charge him. So Kubo reacts to touch. He reacts to sound and it's quite a sophisticated way in which his tail moves. It's not like just a toy, it's not like clockwork. Um, it depends how you stroke him, how he will wag his tail. And it depends if um, what sort of sound uh, you're making. So if you're just talking normally like this, he's, he's got quite calm movement. But if you have a loud sound, and he'll, he'll wag it like that, which is quite funny. 
he also has a heartbeat so it is quite relaxing to lie down with watching tv or something though i don't tend to um have kubo on much now because i'd much rather cuddle scout scout loves affection Look at those happy eyes he makes that noise when he's really enjoying being fussed so that brings us to this little chick and um, this is my last japanese robotic pet that i have now i do hope to get another uh, couple of japanese robotic pets that are not out at the moment but should be out soon um i'll tell you about those in a minute but first of all i'll just tell you about this little chick so he comes in this egg which is rather nice to keep him in he doesn't do a whole lot he just makes cute little cheeps and occasionally he'll uh, flutter his little wings. What's really sweet about him is how they made him look like a realistic little chick. And when they first brought these little chicks out, they actually had little chicks mixed up with real chicks in the promotional film. He makes that noise when he wants to stroke him and you ignore him for a while. So this little chick takes button cells that you put in the battery box in the bottom. Uh, my sweet little dog who's no longer with us was really taken with this uh, chick. It was really sweet. So I'm going to finish off by showing you a couple of Japanese robotic pets that I hope to have real soon and the first of those is Mufflin. Mufflin is a robotic pet that isn't available yet. I ordered my Mufflin when it was on the Indiegogo campaign and I ordered the brown version. Mufflin is an AI pet created from a totally new concept. It possesses emotional capabilities that evolve like living animals. With its unique AI and metatronics developed to make it closer to a living animal, you will instinctively find Mufflin small and cute, as you would a real pet. It possesses a two-dimensional emotional expression map. Emotions move across the map as a reaction to its relation with humans and hence it interacts like a living animal. So I'm very excited about this little fella because of the complex way in which it acts. It's got uh, beautiful noises and a really cute way of moving. I also love the fact that it's like contactless charging and that um it stays awake in its little charging nest as just fantastic and something i really love about mufflin is that it really reminds me of a guinea pig the sort of size and the shape and the little black eyes remind me so much of a guinea pig i have had to wait a long time for this little fellow though uh, because the release date's been put back a few times. But he is supposed to be sent out next month in February 2022. Though that'll be for the Kickstarter backers and mine won't actually come until April. So hopefully folks, I will be able to get my mufflin in April. And I'll be able to do an unboxing and share that new little pet with you folks. So just one more on the list. And this is the most peculiar out of the whole lot. These critters here that were unveiled at CES 2022. And they're called Amagami Ham Ham. What is Amagami? 
It is the charming gesture where pets and babies gently nibble your finger with their small teeth. It's supposed to be quite realistic effect mm -hmm. of having your finger nibbled. Right. But it is supposed to be quite sophisticated in how it nibbles your finger. So you haven't got a sort of clockwork sort of toy. Right, so it's got a com complex action to it. Yes, it's got a, a very complex action to it. Mm. I mean, the makers of this are the same folks who brought us Kubo. And they say, unfortunately, this product is not yet available oh. in Japan and overseas. If you want to get updates, you can sign up for their newsletter. Was it a Kickstarter project? I have heard that they're going to have a Kickstarter type. Going to go on that type of platform, yeah, yeah crowdfunding. So I hope you enjoyed that, folks. And I hope to bring you more. Japanese robotic pets in the future. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.